Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelik. Now, Movie Magic Scheduling 5 is finally out, and one of the features that we introduced during the public beta was the storyboard feature where you can add images to the breakdown sheet. And for the final release, we've added another feature in there called the image report, where you can print those images out in a pre-formatted report. Let me show you how it works. So as we've talked about before, one of the new enhancements is adding images to the breakdown sheets for storyboards or whatever purposes. Now, a big thing was to be able to print them. So what we did was if you go to File, Print View, there's a new tab up here. There's Strips, Reports, Images, and Day on Day. So I'm going to click on the Images tab. And uh, there's some defaults already set here. It's going to report by sheet instead of day. Uh, but you can switch it to day if you if you like. And then there's a page break on each sheet slash day. That's unchecked by default because what that'll do is it'll create a new page break uh, for every record. So if um, each sheet that you want to print out, you can have a page break or each day uh, it'll break after, after the end of the day. But I'm going to leave that unchecked so we just see all the images in the report. And there's no page breaks um, by default. So... Uh, then you can set which font that you want, and you have your list of fonts here, and what size. And then there's preferred number of images per page. Now if you leave that alone, it'll try and fit as many images per page as it can on there, but um, uh, let's say you only want three images uh, per page. It's not going to actually stretch them at the moment, uh, but it'll limit it to about three images before it cuts over to the next page. So again, I'm going to leave it blank, and it'll print out as many as it can. And uh, then we have all the elements, that, uh, all the descriptors that you can have next to the image. You have the actual image description. Uh, you can put comments if it's a day-night scene, uh, if there's an estimated time, if it's an interior, exterior, uh, the page count for the scene, scene number, um, all these different, I'm going to put the set, uh, and let's put the synopsis in there. So these are all different elements that you can put. You can put all of them, but you can select which ones that you want. And then you can select a range, just like in reports and strips. If you want all of them printed, uh, selected means um, the strips that are selected on the strip board currently. If you want a specific range of days, a specific range of dates, etc. Again, I'm going to leave it as all, and I'm going to include day breaks. Now, if you want, you can go into your day break settings and manipulate what the day breaks look like in this report. I'm going to leave it all alone for now, but this is where you would do that. You can change the font text or what text appears in them. I'm going to hit cancel. And that's pretty much the same as uh, you know the reports, if you're used to manipulating the day break text in the reports. And then there's page setup if you want to change uh, if it's U.S. letter, legal, the margins, if it's landscape or portrait, all those things. I'm going to hit cancel and leave it by what the defaults are. And now I will click view. And it will generate this report that prints out all the images that it has in the schedule. Right now I don't have too many images. Uh, and it will have all the text that you've selected printed out next to each image. And from here you can go ahead and print that. So hopefully that fits all your reporting needs, but we'd love to hear your feedback on it. You can send that feedback to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to stop by entertainmentpartners.com and check out the new community section. It's got ways that you can follow us on Twitter or friend us on Facebook or subscribe to us on YouTube. And that's where we'll be adding new videos every week. So thanks for watching.